President Alejandro, the, in Korea. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. president of KFA. I'm a special lead of the government of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in charge of international Thank relations. you very much. And I would have loved for giving you a card, but my suitcase is still in Kuala Lumpur, so I just have my hand baggage. <laughs> no but problem. by mail, I, uh, we will send it to you. No problem. Um, Can you back sorry, just to interrupt, but what sort of cover story had you developed for well, James? I mean, Alejandro presumably would have done some checking on the background of James. I think he really just wants things to happen, and he, he wasn't... He was thinking about having something for the Korean so he can reach an even higher level in North Korea. So he didn't need to know the name of this oil billionaire? No, I just told him actually his name was James. Huh. I, I work for an uh, investment mm -hmm. uh, family. Until now, our investment have been in oil, mm -hmm. gas, weapons, metal, pharmaceutical. Mm -hmm. But our minimum investment mm -hmm. is 50 million uh, euro. Five zero. Yeah, five zero. Because otherwise the revenue is, is not interesting. Mm. I have contacts up to our Marshal Kim Jong un, so if necessary, I can report directly to the maximum authority to our great leader Kim Jong un in the country. We are under very, very heavy sanctions, as you may know, from the United Nations, especially as forced by the United States. So we have a parallel uh, way to do things. We have uh, companies in China, in Southeast Asia, in Malaysia, and other countries for making all kinds of transactions. So they follow sanctions in the United Nations in the front of the TV, but in reality, they just look the other way. Did he discuss what types of business he would be looking for? Yeah. And it didn't take many minutes before Alejandro started talking about that they can produce anything in North Korea which he likes to call the DPR of Korea, mm -hmm. or DPRK. Mm -hmm. Our advantage, think about DPRK as the real only country in the world that we don't need to follow any rule from anyone. Whatever you do in DPRK remains in DPRK. Nobody ever can touch your accounts, your assets, even you are followed by Interpol. We are not even members of Interpol. So we can do things that no other country can do. We are developing things in uh, pharmaceutical industry that are forbidden in any other country in the world. I have a pharmaceutical company in Canada that requested me uh, that we produce something in DPRK. But this something, it's basically the same like methamphetamine. It's a methamphetamine for the drug market. So the issue is that they send me the formula or the knowledge and then I checked with our capital, of course. We have all the knowledge to produce, even that. Weapons, actually, is our main, but the problem is weapons in the moment that the U. Heibon na moto ryori ni no toko. Kare ni wa kazuku mo shiranai aru himitsu ga atta. That he is. Amol. made him decide to infiltrate and expose the most brutal dictatorship of all. Long live our Supreme General Kim Jong-un. Korea is one. Thank you very much. He's the president of the Korean Friendship Association, KFA. The International Lodge. He want me to find um, people that like to invest money. Basically, it's a weapon. Mm -hmm. We're very, very interested in it. Our advantage, think about DPRK as the real only country in the world that we don't need to follow any rule. So you've got missiles. Yeah. So you've got to be aware of your surroundings. But I say what's common is common, yeah. and what ain't, ain't. If something stands out, it stands out for a reason. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Very dangerous.